Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I'm really happy about uh, being here and being able to talk about something that I'm really passionate about, and that is uh, content and design. So my topic today is going to be, or I hope that after my short lightning talk, you will understand why you need a content designer and what does a content designer do, and uh, probably also what are the benefits uh, of having, having a content designer for the project and the client. I'm not going to talk about me, uh, but you can find me at Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, and yes, I'm going to talk about content designers. I could be talking about uh, UX writers, copies, uh, content strategies and so forth. But I think uh, the word content designer is, uh, uh, describes the best uh, what we do. So, why do people normally come to your site or app? Because of awesome code, because of great UX or because of beautiful visuals? Well, they are, of course, all really important, but uh, they are probably not the uh, because people come to your site. They come for the content, good content, great content even. And I think it's actually impossible to design a great user ex experience with uh, bad content. Content is king. We've been... We've uh, been hearing this kind of uh, phrase at least uh, a decade. I think it's what, it was really popular in the early days of uh, uh, content marketing at, and uh, some advertising agencies maybe still use this kind of uh, phrase. And content first. This should be more, uh, more familiar to you. At least I've heard it uh, many times in different podcasts read in different uh, blog posts and so forth. And we always like to say that we do design content first. But are we do really doing so and can we really do so? When we think of a normal design process, I think it normally looks like this. Uh, we do research and discovery, normally a designer uh, is here uh, in the beginning. We visualize, decide, prototype, we test. Uh, sometimes we are coding when the, when the content comes in. Uh, and uh, I think this is a, a quite familiar design process for you, and, and it sometimes happens to me also. And if we design like this, then I have to say that, uh, yes, we we really do have a problem. Uh, and I'm going to highlight uh, two of the biggest problem, problems uh, uh, that will come with this kind of design process. Well, first of all, um, the content designer needs to understand all the same things as the designer. And if the content designer comes to the process uh, uh, later on, he or she, or actually I, am going to start to ask all the same questions as the designer. I want to understand user needs, user problems. I want to understand the business goals, and I want to understand the context where we are designing. Plus, I have some more questions. I would like to hear how people are talking about their uh, problems and, and uh, needs, what kind of vocabulary they are using, or what kind of terms. And when I come in later in the process and start to ask the same things as the designer has already done, well, that makes me a really annoying teammate. And the other big problem, I think, is uh, what I like to call lorem ipsum. We do a lot of design with lorem ipsum. And what's the problem uh, with that? Um, well. Let's imagine that here's an uh, event teaser in your landing page. It looks quite neat. Uh, sorry, it, it doesn't show really good, but you can imagine it. It's, it's designed with lorem ipsum. It looks nice. You can have like two or three of those uh, on your site. And then comes the template text or probably something that uh, designer has visualized. It looks good. But if there hasn't been a content designer, if there hasn't been someone who talks to the st stakeholders and uh, 
uh, and so forth, uh, it probably in a real life is going to look like this. Well, a horror case on your landing page. The other one, uh, the other problem uh, with lorem ipsum is that if you do testing with lorem ipsum or template text, if you say to your users that, hey, let's, let's imagine there's a nice article or uh, here's a CTA and so forth. Well, what kind of test results are you going to get if, get if, you, if you test uh, with lorem ipsum? I don't think that your test results are going to be uh, really good. So my suggestion is, of course, uh, that you take content designer uh, within the design pro process from the day one. We have a lot to give uh, during the whole, whole uh, journey. Uh, let me take an example. I think Slack is something that <laughs> we copywriters and content designers love to use. Uh, and there's a reason why we love these brands so much. They are consistent since the way that they talk have, has been designed uh, with a care from uh, the day one. And they have a unique way of saying things. And they are not just uh, entertaining and funny, they also know what they are talking about. They have this uh, business side of things. So. The benefits of having a content in the process from the beginning on is that your site speaks the same language as your users. Uh, if your users are, for example, talking about uh, buying a house, you, you are not going to talk about them uh, about taking a loan. You've been testing your site. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Don't know what to do now. Yep, you've tested your uh, service with the real content and you know it works. And because, because you know it works, you're really happy to market your site. Because uh, when, when people find it, they will be more than uh, delighted. They are even going to love it. I think a lot of times you put a lot of effort uh, in content of uh, some kind of marketing concepts and so forth. So you are marketing something that when people find it, they are going to be like, same old, same old. But we want people to love uh, the site and the product itself. And not to forget, uh, the content answers uh, to your business needs and drives your goals. The, goals. the content in the site uh, drives your goals, your sales and your business. But... I'm not saying that content is the king or content should come first. I don't even think that it's, it's possible to have a design process where, uh, where we have all the content and then we start to design. Or maybe, maybe that kind of sentence is some kind of artifact from the time, uh, times when people uh, were having more like a waterfallish pro uh, um, projects. So yes, this is, this is not my, uh, my idea of a good design with content. I think that the collaboration between a designer and, and content designer is the key. Doing, con uh, doing content without uh, design and doing design without content, it's just uh, impossible. The uh, great user experience or customer experience is... is uh, not possible to design without all, uh, all the skills involved in, in the team. So I think design, content, tech and analytics should be working <clears throat> uh, or doing a great uh, collaboration. So um, my final thoughts and some takeaways uh, you should, uh, in my opinion, take home. So next time, when you start a, um, a project, take a content designer in the team from the day one. This was kind of obvious. And taking a content designer in the, day, uh, in the project from the day one will save your time, money, and everybody's nerves. 
And always we be doubting if your client says that they are going to deliver the content on time. I've seen it so many in so many cases. Uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, you will have those empty pop boxes when you start to go code, and this is the alert uh, signal that you have. You should call a content designer. And my final thought, uh, even if you're a great, uh, great writer, doesn't always mean that you can write in a digital context. Uh, this relates to the other thing that, that the client says that, oh yes, they are going to deliver the content. And then they are going to say, oh, we have communications, we have marketing, and they can write the content. But writing in a digital context, context is a skill. Have a, having a real, really good uh, customer experience uh, with your content uh, is a skill, and that's why you should bring a content designer into the project. So, I was he really happy, happy to be here and to be able to talk about content. Uh, and I'm also really happy to share uh, thoughts with you during the lunch break and, uh, and in the evening. Thank you so much.